There we go, start another week, and that engine is still sitting in my car, and we've done nothing with it, but we're going to work on Jake's shale engine this week. We've just got to put it back together, the engine's there. I'm just tapping out some threads there to uh, get the uh, get the threading sorted so we can build it, and then we're going to get this engine built tonight, because it's going to be warm next week, and that means the fish are going to spawn, that means I need this fish ash tree for hatching eggs next week. So, I need to get the engine out of here this week. Uh, Jake Shale, Shale engine, it's a Jake Shale car, and then maybe look at that car next week, so I can probably do things in the following week. That's my plan. Uh, we're going to work on one car a week. We're just finishing work now. Literally one car a week, that's all, that's all we can do, because we're doing this after work. In our own time, obviously. Work has to come first, because work has to pay the bills. Um, our own needs have to come first, don't they? So, right, let's see how this week goes. So, well, we need to get this engine built tonight, that's our plan. Right, let's see how it goes. Uh, right, we're halfway there. We're just going to... Um, Put the heads on now, we've got all cleaned up, all the valves are in, all the pistons are clean, engine's clean, uh, heads are done, just a mid engine quick bug. All right, let's carry on with it. I'm just gonna do a quick video on where we're at because we've got the heads on, all the rockers are on, you can do the tappets, and then we're gonna put the rocker boxes on and then the manifold on and uh, and call it a day. Right, I'll do it for something, Jake. Looks nice. Yeah. You can, uh, I'm not here tomorrow night, so you can... Oh no, I've got my floor. Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, very good. New valves, it's all clean, it's all tidy. Let's just hope it runs, eh? Well, uh, we still have this in the week. Uh, dizzy in tomorrow. Change the oil. Yeah. Uh, drop it in the car Wednesday, shall we? We shall have this running Wednesday night, shouldn't we? Yeah. Rolling road, do you think it needs to go on the rolling road? I don't know. Alright, uh, see how the week goes. You're provisionally booked in for Northampton this Saturday. Uh, if this is running, we'll be there. Okay, let's go on. Tea time. The, door, the door's going down, that means we're about to try the engine. So, if it starts, I'll video it. If it doesn't start, I won't. What are you doing? Well, do you reckon, boy? Do you reckon it's going to start? Of course it will. <laughs> I have to try to make Nigel engineering. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Started and it runs. We've just uh, burnt through the wires on the uh, alternator, uh, just where they're touching the exhaust. So we're just going to tidy them up and um, all good. Just got to set the time in. Can't quite see the time map. Time match very well. So, but yeah, all looking good. And uh, we'll be at Northampton on Saturday. So let's see how it goes. Eh? Right, uh, this is the uh, shale engine with the cam belt broken with all the bent valves that we've rebuilt. We've uh, done it ourselves. So. It's running, uh, race to you, obviously. So Friday morning, we ran it last night, got it nice and hot, and uh, he did a few donuts in the yard, had a bit of a play with it, got it nice and hot, that was the idea. And then tonight we're gonna do the tappets again and just uh, talk the heads down again. So I talk the heads down first, then do the tappets. Just so it's all correct and uh, ready for tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. Well, 
going to do one thread, so we're going to pick up the other side just so we can do the one thread and uh, not get any swarf in the engine. So we're going to tip it on its side, tap out that one thread, and uh, we'll keep it clean. Let's go right up, Jake. Saturday morning and we're racing tonight and we've got the engine in bits again because we wanted to pull it. We got it hot a couple of nights ago and got it um, really hot so we could uh, then retighten the heads down. We've had to take all the rockers off and the uh, and the manifolds off, head headers off, so we can get to the uh, head bolts. And we talked them all up again and we've just had one thread here, this thread here, the, uh, the thread had gone. So we tipped the car over to its side to try and tap it out and not get any bits into the um, into the engine. So we tipped it on its side so we could do it. And then um, uh, the, these these followers fell out, so all the water was on its side. So we had to take the inlet manifold off again now to put that back together and uh, and then it was knocking off time. Well, it was seven o'clock last night, we were both going out. So we left it like this and Jake's gonna put it together this morning. I've got a fishing match to go and run. Jake's gonna put it together and uh, hopefully we'll be at Northampton tonight. Out, and then I did a gearbox, and that was all in separate races. Good luck tonight. Cheers. Right, quick recap before we start. This is the engine that we went to Kings Lynn at the first meeting, and Jake did two laps in this engine and uh, dropped the cam belt. So we put the engine, put a second hand cam belt on it, put it all back, put the cam belt back on, went to Mildon Hall, did not even a lap, and the engine stopped again. Took the heads off, and this is the engine we put the heads in, put the diesel in, all the diesel ran through the valves, and um, it got no, no it dropped the push rod, that's what it did, it dropped the push rod. So we've got a new set of push rods now from America, we've got a new set of valves in it, and we've rebuilt it ourselves. So this engine has done two laps this year, didn't do a lap at Mildon all. So we're at Northampton now, so third time lucky, let's see if we can get a race finish, and um, then we'll have two engines going, because of course we did the Tamak engine two weeks ago, and he went out and won at Buxton. So, um, Gives us, gives us some confidence, and let's hope we can finish the race uh, here tonight at Northampton. So, let's see how we go. Sun's out, and easy in. Well, it's all in. So, 23 cars here, all in each race. So, he's in first race in, in a minute. In a minute, in a minute now, we'll be out there. Good luck, Jackie. and then he's come back with low oil pressure so uh, we're not going to risk running it again we're going to uh, load up and take it back and uh, take the bottom end off and take the sump off and have a look at the pump and uh, it's obviously one thing we didn't do while the engine was out uh, we didn't want to take the sump off but uh, we've got to look at the gloves now on the, on the pump to make sure it's not blocked so a bit disappointing that we've done all this work and and the oil pressure's not it's not good so we don't want to risk damaging the engine for, uh, for the sake of a, a couple of races so we'll take it back and uh, take it out and that's some popping up. Are you ever again? Glad he stopped out. I'm going to drive you, man. Oh, well, it's a bit of a beer, shall we, lads? So, conclusion time. Uh, how many dead cats have I killed or gone over or black cats have I killed? I don't know what happened this year. Just everything's going wrong. We just feel so fed up now. We just, every week, we're having nightmares. And, um, it doesn't feel fair, does it really? 
Oh, hey, uh, that's why you know, the worst thing happened. I've been my mate's, uh, my mate's wife died this week and been at his, my funeral up at uh, um, Wuthering this week. So, um, you know, there's worse things in life than racing. We just feel like we're having a bad time. Um, low oil pressure, Jake looked at, his, looked at his oil pressure gauge and it was, it was low, so he pulled off very, very smart. He said, I've never looked at my oil pressure gauge in my life. I've never. Kim used to say to me, what's the, what's the water level, water temperature when you're racing? I don't look. I don't look at my gauges. I can't look at them. I'm just like, well, this one I'm racing, I'm looking where I'm going. So uh, he did the smart thing and pulled off and said, what should I do, Dad? It's the smart thing to do. Low oil pressure, so he well, um, Disappointing, you know, they moved the start time from 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock. Jake had a disco tonight, so Jake was going to earn a couple hundred quid tonight. He was going to race at 4 o'clock, he's done for 8 o'clock, get back to the disco. He moved the start time to 5 o'clock, so he's lost that job tonight. Um, so, you know, Ruben talking to the looms, you know, he lost his job as well through through the moving the start time back an hour. And as it's turned out, we've loaded up an hour, we've watched the final left, so as it turned out, he would have made it. So, we're going to go back home. Uh, Speedway's on TV tonight, so I like the love of the Speedway Grand Prix, so I'm going to go back and watch that. Tomorrow morning I'll go and meet a friend and um, run over this car and uh, wash it. And what we're going to do, we're going to take things out, take the sump off and see if the, uh, the oil pump isn't working. The oil pump, no, it appears to be lost, So, I don't know if we're going to get ready for Kings Lynn, but we're going to do my car this week. Uh, but no, that ain't up. I've got an old big block, I was going to put in my car and try to get ready for Kings Lynn. I can't see that happening because uh, we've got my tax car again. We're going to work on one car at a time. So, there we go. That's this week over. I'll, um, I might do a bug next week. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen next week. Don't know. Don't know. Going on. See ya.